Hey YouTube, uh, this is part 3 of my guide for noobs to XBMC. Um, in this part, I'm just going to explain how the different views in the movies menu. So, yeah, check it out. Okay, so all your movies should be now scraped into um, the movies file. Um, so now we need to go and click on movies. And this is the default view that it's giving us for our movies. Uh, it's pretty average. Um, what we want to do now is click left. And this menu here pops up. Now, where it says view list, it's the um, the view that I'm looking at now is a list. Um, these are the view options, and if you go across them and choose the different options, just as an example, I'll show you what each of these do. This is like a tile sort of setup, and to get the information on a movie, you can push I. There, it's going to come up with basically what the movie looks like info about it so that's not the view I want right now so get back to here and the one I'm after at the moment that I'll show you is this one here with the eye in the middle as you can see this is what it looks like it's got the IMDB rating on the left I think it doesn't have the rating for this movie. Um, a little bit of info in the middle and two squares on the right, which are for thumbnails of the movie. Um, I'll show you later how to set those thumbnails up and get them in there. And also in the bottom right, it says press down to see trailer. So this is another thing I'll go through soon. Um, you can add trailers to each movie it takes a long time to configure but it's really worth it I had all my movies set up to my trailers so I'll just click down now just to show you what it's like and it starts playing the trailer now just before when we were at the main menu and we clicked um, we pushed S and set uh, the visualizers on that's because when we play music or trailers or movies and we want to go back to the home screen when we go back to the home screen it continues playing what you're watching basically it's just a good feature to have on so I'll go back into here now you can modify all of this um, so you want to go back to press up bring this menu up again now you want to go down to style and as you can see in the little pictures it basically gives you example and this top one here on the left it's going to have the IMDB rating in the middle it's going to have the movie information and in the right it's going to have basically the cover a big picture of the cover um, the second one here this has got obviously the movie information above I mean below the IMDB rating and then the little picture of the tree is um, basically it's going to be a picture of the background that you have set for that movie and this is basically the same I think this one here the big square is a thumbnail which we don't have set right now um, now you can also change your views again by clicking full screen now that takes the um, the bar that comes up, it takes it right to the top. And what that does is that gives us some new views in style. So now at full screen, we've got the movie information in the middle, the two thumbnails on the right, and the cover on the left, as well as the IMDb rating up above and the runtime and you can see also what else it does um, so at the moment I've got it set on four different 
thumbnails but I want to choose this here and you'll see that now the when it pops up the trailer press down to see trailer is on the left as well as the cover and the thumbnails um, the trailer is now bigger also so there's a few other settings you need to play around with these um, I like the full screen mode and this info is how that how the menu pops up um, you can either set it to on where it will just always be on set it to trigger and if I set it to trigger it won't automatically pop up um, I now have to push up so if I push up it's going to come up with my information uh, just run through these options again flags uh, the little things down the bottom that tell me that my movie is in 5.1 surround sound uh, 720p in the runtime and fan art is your background so if I take actually backdrops I think is the background yeah so I've taken backdrops off you can see there's a curtain there now and all the rest is basic um, you can figure that out but have a play around with these two now the new view that has just been added in this version I haven't even got to check out yet very much is this view here this is low list uh, this is a new modification and it looks really really good so what this has done as you can see I can scroll through my movies and if I want to view a trailer I think I'll go to a movie where I have a trailer it says in the center here it says press right to view trailer push right there you go there goes my trailer on the left there's two thumbs um, also if I bring the menu back up again I now go to style and these are the different styles for this view there's this one here is all the information in the center and four thumbnail views and on the right the bigger box down on the bottom right is the cover to my movie and you can see that that is two thumbnail views so I'll try that the four thumbnails let's wait for it to change Now I want it to, so if I push left it brings up my info and then all I've got to do now if I want to watch the trailer is push right. So this view is really neat, it's um, tidy and I think I'm going to go with this view. So I'll just push escape here. Now I'm going to go exit XBMC now and I'm going to show you a software called Ember Media, Media Manager and this is going to help us get those thumbnails going, um, set our trailers and get everything looking good so I'll just exit now. Right, thanks for watching part 3. Um, in part 4 we're going to go through the Ember Media Manager software and we're going to have a look at setting up thumbnails and the trailers for all your files so that you can display them in XBMC.